Yo, guys, it is a beautiful day out as always. It is basically hell outside. So I wanted to shoot a little video outside, nothing too crazy. We aren't gonna be doing much today, but I wanted to ask the question, one buck an army. Uh, just restart. One buck an army, you know what, forget. Look, I just wanted to ask this question, all right? Very simple. How much water do you think you use when you're detailing your car? I see these estimates online that are crazy. They'll say they use about like 50 gallons and I think that's actually like absurd. <laughs> that sounds like a huge overestimation. I'm not sure where they're getting that number from or anything like that. And so I wanted to actually look at some of my old footage and see like, am I using anywhere close to 50 gallons? Because I know for a fact <laughs> that I'm not using anywhere near that amount. Just based on the gallons per minute of my pressure washer being two and how long it takes me to wash, there's no way I can even get close to 50. And this is also kind of a good, you know, time to speculate because if you want to get like a water tank for mobile um, detailing, like if you want to, all right, look, uh, I have a hard time talking again. But if you want to get like a water tank for your mobile detailing setup, like how big of a tank should you get depending on how many cars you want to do? Like these are the kinds of questions that I like to ask because it's good to know these things if you're planning for the future or if you want to make a purchase, a big purchase or something like that. So I'm going to go into the studio. I've already looked at the footage and I know how long I was washing my car for and about how much water I've used as a result. Looking at the footage, you need to first understand what are the steps where I'm using water that are gonna be prominent on a detailing job. So we're not talking about things like the chemicals I'm using or loading up certain things like that. Um, I think before you go to a detailing, detailing job, all of your chemicals will be already ready to go and you won't have to worry about filling them up on the site with your portable tank if you do have one. So we're just gonna consider what are you actively using on the detail that is just water that you need. So I'm gonna be looking at how much soap or how much <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna be looking at how much water am I using, one, to fill up my buckets, how much water am I using to foam down the car, how much water am I using to rinse down the car, and then also how much water am I using to rinse it down the second time after that hand wash. So we're gonna be looking at the numbers for basically the one-step car wash, which is just for if you're foaming down the car. We can also look at the numbers for the two-step if you foam and agitate. And then we can also look at, you know, if you're doing foam agitation and wheels too. Although I don't know necessarily the exact amount of time it takes to rinse the wheels, I could look at some footage actually. So I'm gonna do that. Those five areas will be kind of our basis for determining, you know, how much water do you need depending on Dude, this bug won't get away from me. So those five steps are gonna be kind of the basis for determining how much water we need for the work we are doing. So depending on if you're doing a one, two, one step, two step, one bucket versus two bucket wash method, those kinds of things, these will all determine and change. Dude, get away from me, man. I'm just filming a video. You know, get the freak away from me. Brother, you, you, I don't smell sweet. Crazy. I swear, like last video where I was doing the mist dirt spots, what the heck? Like there's a freaking fly that flies and I smacked the shit out of it. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> so, the bugs just love me. So we'll kind of be looking at those. And so, oh my God, you're back for round two? Buddy. This bee won't leave me alone. Okay, I'm gonna take this inside. Uh, good riddance, brother. Wow, that was annoying. All right. So, got my timeline here. Uh, let me get OBS recording so you guys can see what I'm looking at. And I'll just show you the actual times. So you can see and believe what I'm saying. Okay, so first things first, let's look at the bucket uh, step. So I just have a nice three and a half gallon bucket. Um, you could assume I fill the whole thing with water, which I don't. And actually in this video, I'm only filling the bucket for a minute and my hose is about two gallons per minute. So because of that, you know, I only really fill up the bucket with two gallons of water to wash the whole car. And you know, that's the positive of the one bucket one wash method is you're only using one bucket worth of water. So instead of using four gallons of water, I'm only using two there. So that's a good water saving method for you guys out there. And that's why we're all part of the one bucket army. That's right. 
So, you know, that's pretty straightforward. Um, the second part is foaming down the car, and I've cropped it into different chunks of just when I'm foaming. And you can see I go from about 58 seconds to one minute and 58 seconds. So I'm only foaming the car for one minute, which tells me I'm using two gallons of water, more or less, um, for foaming down the car, which is really pretty quick. I mean, that's pretty quick stuff. Um, so, so far we're at a total of four gallons with the one bucket wash method or six with the two bucket wash method. The next part is rinsing down the car. So after you foam it, you rinse it. And on average, I've noticed that I take about two minutes and 30 seconds to rinse down the whole car with my pressure washer. And so, you know, with this clip here though, this one wash after the foam took me about three minutes, but between the two, it was a total of five minutes between the two being I, want, I rinsed it after the foam and then I also rinsed it after the hand wash. <coughs> and in another video I did, like most recently one the, one, the detailing falling asleep video, that one, both of the rinses took me two minutes and 30 seconds. So this one has a little bit of variable here, but we can just assume two minutes and 30 seconds for both rinse cycles, which is a total of five minutes. And that means I'm using 10 gallons of water there. So we have 10 gallons plus six right now, or plus four. If you're doing the one bucket wash method, that's 14 gallons of water to wash your whole car, um, not including wheels, and it's 16 gallons of water if you're washing it. <coughs> it's 16 gallons of water if, <laughs> if you're washing it with the two bucket wash method. Now, whether you're using one bucket or two bucket wash method, you're not going to be the percentage of water total you're using isn't that much different, but between the two methods themselves, it's about a 50% difference, or it is a 50% difference. So. Um, I would heavily recommend using the one bucket wash method and um, saving yourself a little bit of water. You know, we also need to think about things like if I'm doing rubber or plastic floor mats, I'm probably going to be using a few gallons to wash those off. And then we also have the wheels, which um, we can do some calculations on those too. So let me get some footage where I can um, add these into the timeline and then splice them up and then we can see about how much water I'm using for those as well and then we can get a, a nice little total depending on the different methods and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it'll be pretty straightforward, but it's a nice little an analysis for you guys. So the license plate is showing right now, but I'm gonna edit my video of the video so that it's blurred out. How sick is that? <laughs> All right, so after reviewing or getting some of the footage from my recent uh, Detail You Can Sleep To video, um, I found that, you know, you really aren't using too much water for the wheels or for the floor mats. Um, so the wheels, if you look at the timeline, I go from about 6.58 to 8.09 worth of water. So it's about a minute more or less. So you're going to use about two gallons there. So now we're at, you know, anywhere from 16 to 18 gallons per for a car wash. And then when you do the floor mats, you're adding, you know, about 30 seconds. So 0.09 to 42 more or less 30 seconds, so one gallon there. And so you end up with a nice odd number of 19 to 17 gallons. So if we really break it down into the different steps, you can see that you know, you're know you not using a ton of water except when you're rinsing the car. So you shouldn't need more than a 20 gallon tank at max if you're doing all of this. If you're just doing exterior, you'd be okay with a 15 gallon tank, which saves you a lot. There are probably ways you could save water for how long car washes take. You know, you should be fine with, you know, a smaller 15 gallon tank, and that might be cutting it a little close. So I haven't tested this out myself, like with a physical tank, but um, I know that, you know, maybe when you get close to the bottom of the tank, it might be kind of hard to for it to pump out that water at the same rate as when the tank was full. I mean, it really depends what kind of tank you get. Let me take this outside. Hopefully that bug won't be bugging me anymore. Okay, that wasn't intended, that bug bugging thing. Okay, ah, stay on track. I just decided to look up the car wash statistic again, just to make sure I wasn't crazy. Holy crap, these numbers are way off. 40 to 100 gallons for doing it in your driveway, or, uh, for, like freaking 65 to 85, that's insane, guys. There's no way you should be using that much water washing your car. It's all very simple math. You could do this yourself. Just You just need to know the gallons per minute of your pressure washer, and you just multiply it by how many minutes you're washing your car. Like realistically, that's all it is. And the gallons per minute on your pressure washer might not be exactly two. It might be a little more, it might be a little less. It's 
If anything, it's probably going to be less than what they than what they put there. Yeah, you really shouldn't be expecting to use a whole lot of water during your car wash. Maybe 20 gallons maximum for like a very large car. As you can tell, with my car, it's a sedan, so it's a smaller car, and I'm using, you know, depending on what I'm doing, I'm using from anywhere from 14 gallons, being that I just do that two-step wash, all the way to, you know, 19, being that I'm doing the two-bucket wash method with wheels and floor mats. So if you're trying to plan out how much water you need for these different jobs, and you know, you wanna do it mobily, or you just maybe want a, a tank in your shop that you know you need to refill every now and then then you know this is how you can do it it's very simple very easy very easy all that being said these are the numbers for you so if you're just doing a one step wash you're not very you're not really using a whole lot of water you're using 6 gallons about you know maybe that's wrong i don't know well, there are a lot of numbers going on today. And then you also have, at the higher end, doing your whole car into, uh, with the fl wa uh, rubber floor mats and the wheels being at 19 gallons, you, and you're using the two bucket wash method. So, guys, I highly recommend the one bucket wash method. Gosh, so powerful. Because you'll save a little bit of that water and you'll make your life a little bit easier. And honestly, these kinds of thought processes will help you to be a better detailer because you'll realize where you can save resources and time on different steps of what you're doing. So, hope you all liked this little video I had today. I feel like kind of like a beast for thinking of it. I was like, what are some like topics that I could discuss around what I have done in the past? And so, kind of stumbled on this because a lot of the, the video work I'm doing, it's like right on my own car and so I don't always have work to do on it. So I have to think about things that you know, maybe I've done in the past or things that could help you guys in the future. And so that's why I thought of this. You know, as always guys, it's great being a member of the One Bucket Army.